Zips, talk about them. I, last year, I guess, uh, defensively, they were really, really good. Well, they really, really shoot it now. They, they, uh, they've got good players. They got a couple transfers eligible, and they got some guys with experience. Point guard is a lot like the little guy at Duquesne. Uh, maybe shoots it a little bit more consistent, but really good with the ball, really quick. They're, they're, they're a good team. Uh, the Dayton transfer, they got, they got some size. I guess three guys over six nine. Yeah, and they may play them all at once. So. They, and, they, and, and John runs good stuff. You know, they run a lot of double high ball screen stuff, a lot of ball screen stuff, a lot of ball screen dive and fill. And they spread you because they all can make shots. And that, they maybe put one guy on the floor that isn't a real good three-point shooter. So they try to get you spread out to where they can they can screen and roll. You weren't real happy after the, the, the scrimmage game. Did the tape make you a little happier, or were you just as mad? According to some, John, I'm never very happy, <laughs> but uh, that's not exactly true. No, I mean, it didn't change between the time I watched it live and I watched it on the tape. We just we didn't play very well. I didn't think we played very hard. I just thought we were just kind of out there. Our, you know, our bigs didn't run, and our bigs are capable of, of running well. And the way Logan ran in uh, France, you know, I thought I thought he would, you know, the other two can run. Logan kind of works at running, and, and, but none of them ran. So we just didn't, we didn't do, we didn't get the easy baskets that I was hoping we could get. Perimeter defense? Um, we didn't see the front of very many people's jerseys. And I think that's what you, you're not supposed to see their back. You're supposed to see their front. So we just got to, we're, we're getting better. We just got to keep working on it. I guess I'm asking all the questions. Uh, the group you had at the um, at the end of the game, is that, can we read anything into that, the guys you used there, or is it just who's playing the best? Well, I think it's I think it's a little bit like um, I think the last time we made a comeback from not being very good, we had Wani and Gary Brown, and, and we had Tariq and Jay Sean, I think, and then we had the two freshmen. Uh, and the, the older guys got hurt, and, and then those other guys got a chance to play and got better. And by the end, I think. What happened, particularly in the NCAA tournament and conference tournament, was we wore people down because we could play a lot of people. And so I'm hoping that you know that's a positive that we've got three guys. I think we can play a point, maybe four if you count Jermaine. So I think that position is is uh, is loaded. But the good thing is those guys can also play off the ball. So we're going. That's why, that's why I'm disappointed we didn't play harder. I mean, I think if we, if we went out and played really hard, I don't think other people's going to have the depth that we have, particularly on the perimeter. Coach, in terms of your players' confidence, how crucial is it to get off to a, a good start, not just in this game, but, you know, to get, you know, maybe get an early roll going into the season? You know, obviously last year the Buffalo game was kind of a setback. I'm, or is it to have a different start this year, you know, a year later? Well, if you recall the Buffalo game, we had one and they Sags had got the rebound and was waiting for somebody to come and get it from him. They knocked it away from him. And then we had them stop uh, the next possession that, that they had and didn't rebound it and kicked it out of bounds to give them another chance. So. I don't know. You know, we we get up 12 to two, and and you think maybe we can make a run here, and, and then all of a sudden you look up, it's 12 to nine or 12 to 10. Right. But that's what we got to stop. I mean, we just got to stop giving other people. We we I think we can get some runs because we can score in transition, and we can shoot the three ball. But we we've, we've got to keep other people from making runs. And to this point, we haven't done that. I thought defensively, right? 
Yeah, primarily. Just you know, it's not it's not big things, it, but it's it's breakdowns, and, it, and we're having a hard time getting them to understand that you know you you let your whole team down when you you don't make a rotation or you make a lousy closeout. They drive in, it becomes even more magnified when you get somebody else in foul trouble because you haven't done your job. So that that is what I think the good teams understand and do a, a better job of executing than what we're doing right now. Is it overstating it, Bob? I mean, all eyes are on you, you two big guys, pretty much. But that you're going to be about as good as your point guards are? Yeah, I think that's, I mean, they have the ball all the time. And they make a decision, make a lot more decisions with the ball than what our bigs do. You know, I, I don't think there's any question that Derek can do what he did a year ago. He hasn't done that to this point, uh, but I, he's, we all know he's capable of doing that. And Oscar gets 17 and 14 the other day, and granted, a lot of those were his own misses, but uh, we ought to be, we ought to be really a, a, a very, very good, not not just good, but a very good rebounding team at both ends of the floor. And and I think you know if those guys will start to to play and realize their potential, it makes it a lot easier to put three smaller guys out there. You know, three smaller guys. And, you know, it's kind of like John Cheney used to say, you know, if you want your zone to be really good, play three bigs. If you want your offense to be really good, play three guards. And, and there's a lot of there's a lot of truth to that because guards, generally speaking, their skill level is a lot better. They pass it better, they dribble it better, they shoot it better. You were hurt awful bad by hmm? Pat, you were hurt awful bad last year by Pat, by Pat, by the way you passed the ball. I'm thinking your your point guards have got to do a you know, I don't even want to say a better job, not a whole lot better job than that. Yeah, I think I think a lot a lot of it is I think just familiarity with not not just not their just their teammates but but what we're doing, you know. We're, we're, I think when you when you first start, you're okay. I'm supposed to pass it here, and that's all you look at, and that's that's really a bad way to play the game. You got to see the whole floor, and, and we're we're constantly. Why didn't you throw it over here? Well, I didn't see him. And obviously, you didn't. You didn't look. And, you know that that that's been something that's been frustrating for me. I mean, I'm, I'm standing out there, I see guys open and they don't get the ball, and I see us force things that really aren't there. And, and, but, you know, the reality of it is, is we're still really young. We, we don't have but a few seniors and the rest of them are, are first year players, first or second year players. So, I think as we continue to play, we will obviously, we ought to get better. I guess Haley's looking better. Or? He's healthy. Yeah, he's healthy. He's, he went. He went full go yesterday. So, yeah, he should be good to go. What about Taz? Taz went full go yesterday. So we ought to have our full complement back. What'd you see from him against UK? What's his potential? Who's that, Taz? Well, he was the second leading junior college scorer in the country. So. I mean, obviously he can score, and he and he played in a very good junior college league. That you know, a, where teams send three, four, and five guys to Division One programs. So he's got he's got the tools. It's just it, it, a lot of it's familiarity. You know, I think that when you become more familiar, when you have more confidence in in yourself and what you're doing, and you're not wondering, am I doing the right thing, or am I supposed to be over there? Or, why didn't he throw me the ball? Was I did I do something wrong? Kind of deal, and, and I think that's just playing, playing together. And, and, and honestly, I, I I really believe this. I think that every time every time we come up with a whole bunch of new rules, everybody's not sure how to play. And, and I don't I don't mean that in a in a negative way, but you know. Kurt comes in and, and, and I want him to come in, the supervisor of officials, and you know, 
well, you're not allowed to going to be do it. You're not going to be allowed to do this now. You're not going to be allowed to do that. And I think it. I think it takes them a while to get comfortable with that as well. I think it takes the officials a while to get comfortable with it. I think that's why. That's why we ought to be able to play both of these uh, scrimmage games for charity and have people in the stands and officials so we can all get better. But you got a lot out of that game with Duquesne. You saw some things probably you could point out to them that maybe they weren't listening to practice, right? But you know, Duquesne plays hard. I mean, Keith does a great job coaching them. And they're active. We just, we're trying to, it's great to have a lot of depth, but it's not great to have a lot of depth because now, you know, you're, you're subbing guys in and out and nobody, you know, you don't have, you, you don't have five guys out there that are comfortable playing with each other yet. And you're subbing guys out and, and I don't care who you are in the back of your mind, you're like, what did I do wrong? And you know, when in reality, it's not, doing something wrong, it's giving another guy some minutes so that he can continue to improve. So that that part of it is uh, I have I haven't read a book that says, you know, how to do that yet. Maybe a good one for you to write. Yeah, oh yeah. I'd be very good at it. Around nine thirty <laughs> Friday, what will make you happy? Effort, you'll stomach some of the execution and things if they, they play with good effort. Yeah, I mean, I, I think effort's a key to everything. I think we'll rebound it better if our effort's better. We'll certainly guard better if our effort's better. We'll score better because we, we need to be a transition team. And we're a team that I, I think they know they've got the green light to shoot threes in transition. So you're, we're, we're going to spread the defense. So, yeah, I mean, I, it's just... You know, you got to play games. I mean, I watched some some really bad basketball, uh, you know, this morning that I I, I had a I was on a recruiting trip, so I needed a little bit of sleep last night. So I fell asleep watching the game. So I watched them this morning, but I don't. It's not like anybody's on top of their game right now. Coach, the first game of the year. Anything that you like about? Openers, the nostalgia of the first game, does it have any meaning at all for coaches? No, I don't think so. I mean, at, at this point in time of my life, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you so. You just hope it's not your last. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I just hope I don't fall out again you know, <laughs> in the huddle. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's great for those. It's great for them young guys particularly, the new guys, and, and to have people in the stands and, you know, the enthusiasm of having some people in there. Heck of a difference playing in an empty gym and playing in a gym where there's people in there. Hopefully we'll get nine or 10,000 people. It's curious, um, these new box scores, are you a fan of them that's got the plus and minus on there? I'm not a fan of anything. I have to carry glasses around to read. <laughs> So that'd be a that'd be a very emphatic no. I don't like them. Mess likes them because of that plus and minus stuff, you know. People kind of dwell on the minus more than the plus, I guess. Uh, I don't know because I don't pay that much attention to it. You know, I mean, if you play with four bad guys and you're playing pretty good, you're you're still going to be minus. You know what I mean? If you're if you're playing with two, two, two guards that throw it all over the place and never never get you into anything and you're playing pretty good as three pigs, you're going to be minus. And that's not your fault. So I'm not, I'm not big on it. Hey Bob, you have two of the top junior college schools last year. What, um, I guess two questions. What First, which are their expectations? I think to play and help us win. I think first and foremost, I think they were both excited about uh, when they visited here about the enthusiasm of our returning guys. And, you know, and I, I, I've said it several times, Jordan and Emma and those guys did a terrific job. They did a, a, a great job helping us recruit those guys. And I 
think their 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 enthusiasm for this year and their confidence, I think, has has spilled over. I, I saw something that Justin wrote about Sean saying how 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 this place was even better than what he thought it was on the visit because the people here are such good people and and, and, and friendly people and whatnot. So. I'm not sure they know what to really expect, but I, I think they know they're in a good place, you know, where people care. You probably have a better idea what to expect. Um, maybe not 30 points a game at night, night out, but maybe times they get hot and they can carry a, a half or a game, I don't know, but do you have ideas like what you think they can do? Well, they both have at times. I mean, Taz is uh, one of my Kevin Mack was here, uh, the, he's the head scout for the Pacers, and Taz goes on a deal where he makes five or six, Kevin's counting them now, five or six straight threes in a, in a kind of a controlled scrimmage kind of deal, and Sean's had those kind of days, but, you know, they've also had days where they haven't, they haven't shot it in. It's, that's the beauty of having having as many perimeter guys as we have. I mean, you can keep searching until you find somebody it's, that it's their day. You know, generally, all six of them aren't going to have a bad day. The more you have, the better off you are, yes. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, uh, you can keep fishing, you know? You, you, you know. you don't run out of bait.